Yes, I am back. Now let me give you a little update on what's going on with the channel before we actually start the video. So first of all to the gameplay videos. I will upload gameplay videos or cut it together gameplay videos whenever there is a new game released which I actually want to play. Soon there are going to be a lot of games released which I actually want to play and I'm going to make videos on those and eventually stream them. Second of all, I'm going to create my own game. What does this mean? Well, first of all, it means one weekly devlog video to update you guys and to keep myself on track so I have like a certain dead deadline for specific breakpoints, yeah? And I'm going to use these videos to explain certain techniques I found or created and just simply share some knowledge, I guess. In addition to the gameplay videos and the devlog videos, I want to also upload simple tutorials for Blender or 3D in general for new people to learn how to use 3D. Because it's actually not that hard. I know a lot of you might not actually be that much into 3D, but maybe Maybe I can inspire you to actually have some interest in it because it's actually amazing. I love it, creating my own things. I cannot even draw a straight line on a paper, but still I'm able to sculpt bodies and whatever. You will see in a second. So I started with grabbing my base body, which I created in the course. It's exactly made for this reason to reuse it. And I simply deformed a lot of stuff here to fit my base proportions, which I want to have a little bit better. Next, I used some curves to place hair. I took a good look at the hair flow I want to have. And so nothing is breaking out. But you can see I placed some hair on purpose to break out of the whole flow to give it more variation. Here you can see I'm placing uh, big chunks in the back of the hair, uh, simply because it's much cleaner that way. We don't want to have too many hairs because it's just going to look messy otherwise. For the tail, I started placing one curve which defines the curve of the tail, how it's falling. And then I simply added a bunch more, made them point in different directions, so it's looking a little bit more like actual hair. After finishing placing the hair, I actually decided to start working on a little shader idea I had. This is nothing final at all. I just wanted to confirm my idea is working, which I think it does. And here you can see how I put a knife in there. This is because I tested the whole shader idea before as well on a knife reflection and I simply copied some stuff I prepared over. Here I added some really quick eyelashes simply because it annoyed me that the face looked so plain. Um, and eyelashes already add a lot, but the face by no means is uh, completely done yet. I have to work on that more in the next week. And the next step was sculpting some rough body details because I know which kind of character I wanted. I want my character to at least show some muscles, so there we go, I sculpted some muscles over the body. Here I made some basic props, uh, just some bags and uh, a shotgun shell. They are like part of the armor or clothing I would give her. Hard surface modeling for these simple shapes isn't actually that hard. It's just basic shapes combined with uh, some certain modifiers. Here it's the same thing. I made a armor plate for the chest, just a bunch of vertices, snapped on the body, added some modifiers and done. Same thing for some shoulder pads here, snapped it on, modifiers, boom, done. Added the bags I created before. These will be refined in the end, but for now they are just staying there for reference. Here I created a shirt. Below the armor, it would be really weird and uncomfortable if the armor would stick directly on the skin. Here I'm creating some connection between the pads and the armor itself because it needs some actual hold somewhere. Then of course we need a belt, simply modeled uh, the two plastic parts. I think I pulled this weird curve out and the fabric part is just simply a curve. Added some additional detail to it. I added some basic colors to my shotgun shells and I used a array modifier and a curve modifier in order to properly be able to place it. I added pants by just copying a part of the body and smoothing out the muscles. Now here I can show you a little trick. When sculpting, sometimes the topology doesn't really want to work with you. You can see how it doesn't want to deform the way it should deform, which makes it actually really tricky to get what you want. You can see how I apply my multi-res here. I don't always use multi-res, but in this case I used it. And the trick to make the topology work with you is you have to apply all the modifiers. You go to the object data tab and under remesh, 
use the quad remesher. You could probably also use the voxel remesher, it's kind of depending. In this case, I use the quad remesher. Sadly, you cannot really see what I'm pressing since it got cut off, but you see the result. I just basically press the remesh button and fix some little errors which were going on here. But beside that, it does a really good job of remeshing your object, at least if it's for sculpting. I wouldn't use it for the final ridge apology. I just copied my belt a few times and placed it around the leg to create like these straps which hold a bag and the holster for, is it called holster, for the gun. Also sculpted the pants a little bit in to create a bit more realistic folding folds around the straps there. Here you can see me building the holster. I didn't create this gun, I just simply downloaded it to get a sense of scale. I will create my own though. For now it's just a reference used to create a holster which has the right proportions. I placed it in front at first because I thought it might look a little bit more special, a little bit more different, but later I placed it on the side again because it just looks better. I added some details to the chest plate, simply was needed, looked way too plain. Also modeled really quick some knee pads, the pants are just one color so there needs to be some detail on it and I think knee pads fulfill that purpose pretty well. I also used uh, Blender's, I think it's called Nuts and Bolts add-on. It's uh, within Blender, you just have to activate it to create some quick screws for the knee pad. And I also used some sculpting on the knee pad to create a more believable shape. And I added some more detail to it. I also wanted some gloves, so all I did is copy a part of the hand, separate it into a different object, deleted the fingers and put a solidify modifier on it and it's basically a glove. Of course, here we need uh, some additional detail as well, otherwise it's just like one color on the hand and I don't know, it definitely needs some detail. So I decided to create like these pads for the knuckles and whatever and placing them not directly next to each other but in a curved kind of position looks a lot better, I think. That's just how the fingers are, right? Like the distance from all the fingers are like a curve and the knuckles are also like a curve. But I think I need to replace them a little bit because I just saw I didn't really properly place them. And one of the last things I did is sculpt in the pants for the knee pads a little bit so we have some folds there. I'm very well aware of most of the things I still have to work on and like I said shading isn't done at all. This is no shading, this is just base colors. But if you have some critique or some ideas, some names, um, any ideas, let me know in the comments below. I definitely will read the comments and answer. So with that I updated you on my progress from the last week and in the next week I'm going to try some retopology and maybe finish the shading because the, let me be clear the shading isn't finished at all it's just some base colors on there. And if you want to support me and my idea you can do this by two ways. First of all would be buying the anime course I created on Gumroad link in the description there's also like a sales code I will also put it in the description and if you want more information on the website I have uploaded a very detailed video explaining everything and second of all there would be patreon also link in the description you can also just simply subscribe there and uh, support me there there will be some goodies on patreon they are not up yet because I didn't have the time to set everything up but it's possible to already support me there. I will set everything up on Patreon within the next week. So there are some goodies on there like, I don't know, some access to some of my files or I don't know, we will see about it. I will definitely add some goodies there. And I guess I see you soon in the next video.